I'm Rachel and today I'll be explaining why animals experience time differently in humans. So you might be wondering how this could be. Are they experiencing time faster than us? Are they experiencing it slower than us? And if they are, how is this occurring? This can be explained by something called the critical flicker fusion frequency. This can be defined as when a light is flickering, it is the point at which the flashes seem to merge together so that a light source appears constant. This is an indicator of how quickly our nervous system can process images. So if you were at a movie and they slowed the images down so that it looked like a series of photos rather than a moving picture, that would mean that the frame rate is slower than our CFF. However, if they sped the pictures up so that the images showed the fluid motion of shapes and figures, this would indicate that the frame rate is faster than our CFF. The point at which the images start looking like a movie instead of a slideshow is the CFF. A simpler explanation of this is just the, the frame rate of our experience. Humans have a CFF of 60 images per second. So other animals have differing CFFs, which cause them to perceive the passing of time differently than humans. There are certain indicators in an animal's environment and anatomy that can help us estimate their CFF. I was surprised to find that brain size has no effect on an animal's CFF. However, metabolism does have an effect. If an animal has a higher metabolism, then they can have a higher CFF and vice versa. This is because heightened rates of image processing take up a lot of energy, and if the animal's already taking in a lot of calories, uh, then they're able to, or they're better equipped to support this function. Another indicator of CFF is body size. If an animal has a smaller body, then they are more likely to have a higher CFF. These different rates of CFF can cause animals to have different perceptions of time. So if an animal has a higher CFF and processes more images per second, then they're they are probably um, able to perceive time passing as more slowly. While animals who have lower CFFs can't process as many images per second and they experience time as moving more quickly. Uh, here are some relative CFF rates for different animals. You'll notice that the housefly has a really high rate of CFF while a sea turtle has a lower CFF. We can deduce why this might be from their environment, body size, and metabolism. So flies are prey species that have a high metabolism. They have the calorie intake to support the higher image processing function, and it's also advantageous for them to process more images so that they can see predators coming. This is why it's so difficult to swat away a fly, because they can see our hand coming and it looks like it's in slow motion. Sea turtles have a larger body size and a slower metabolism, and this is because they have um, or they travel such great distances in the ocean and it helps them to conserve energy by not supporting a high CFF. So it's just more efficient for them. This process is helpful in a variety of different situations for the animal. When the animal is participating in a mating ritual, it can see the signals better and react to them accordingly. Or when an animal has a higher CFF than their prey, they can react faster than their prey and catch them. Also, if the prey has a higher CFF than the one chasing them, they can see the threat coming and escape. Overall, having a high CFF can be advantageous for animals with high metabol metabolisms who can support this function, but it makes sense for other animals to have lower CFFs and conserve their energy for other functions. Wow, interesting. I love your analogy of how you can't swat a fly very easily. So our hand coming down fast looks like a slow motion to the fly. Mm -hmm. That explains it, why I can never get those guys. I mean, it, that's very interesting. It sounds like almost like a physics lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody have any questions in the audience? Okay, so why this topic? I'm just curious. Um, I kind of just wanted to do something I was interested in. Yeah. Like, I don't know like a lot of technical anatomy, so mm -hmm. I was just like, what's something that is interesting yeah. that might be something other people don't know? Well, because the 60 cycles... Is it per second? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For humans, that's then what computer screens go off of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it? Yeah, 60, I think they call it hertz, isn't it, maybe? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I never have been introduced to this. Maybe in physics years ago, but it was just, you know, more than a couple of years, so. But that was very interesting. Wow. 